This is Larkin Rose, again, making another video to document for Twitter the fact that somebody is impersonating me and then slandering me by posting things that I obviously don't agree with. And Twitter has dragged its feet over and over again, so I will also be posting this video on YouTube so people can see that Twitter doesn't really care about their policies unless it happens to be somebody whose opinion they particularly like. I have demonstrated over and over again, over several years, that this is not me and is obviously impersonating me. After all that, demanding, show us your ID, which I did three times, show us this, I got this email. Hello, thanks for bringing to our attention this to our attention. We're unable to determine if the account you reported is in violation of our misleading and deceptive identities policy. No, you're not. You could have looked at it for 20 seconds and seen, oh, obviously he's pretending to be Larkin Rose and isn't, and I proved that. But instead of doing that, they sent me this email. Quote, to allow us to investigate per further, please provide additional information about how the account is assuming your identity. This can include, one, specific descriptions of content or behavior that uses your identity. All right, so here we go. This is a screenshot of at Larkin Rose's Twitter account. You can see it at the top. This is not me. This is the fraud pretending to be me. What is he doing to pretending to be me? Well, first of all, he uses my name. I'm the only person in the world that has that name. He's using it. Right below that, the big banner thing, what's that from? That's from this, the cover of my book, The Most Dangerous Superstition. See my name at the bottom of it? That's my book. That's the cover of my book. Now, how about the icon? That is the iron web symbol that I made that, as it happens, is also on the back of this book, but it's on the back of the iron web because that's the book that describes what that symbol means. And on the back, it very prominently shows that symbol. That's my symbol. Then it uses my name. Then it uses my name. Then it says, watch youtube.com slash Larkin Rose, which is my YouTube channel. Here it is showing a bunch of videos with my face on the videos because it's my channel. Then it lists connectpal.com slash Larkin Rose, which is actually obsolete, but was my ConnectPal page. Then it says facebook.com slash larkin.rose.7, which is my current Facebook page and has been for years and years and years. Then it says hashtag Larkin Rose. Hmm, think maybe they're pretending to be Larkin Rose? Then it says LarkinRose.com store. LarkinRose.com is my website. Here it is. You can see the address. You can see. You cannot pretend this person isn't trying to look like it's me. Nothing in there is indicating that it's a fan page or a parody, and he has posted my material over and over again in between other things. So, going back to the list of what I'm supposed to give them, I think I've just demonstrated specific descriptions of content or behavior that uses my identity. Like my book cover, and my other book cover, and my symbol, and my name, and my YouTube page, and my Facebook page, and my website. Is that not enough? Links to reproduced content. I already did that. A link to a page on your website which contains an image content owned by you. I already did that. I already showed you all of them. A link to one or more tweets by the reported account where they are actively misleading users. Okay, here are some, not even all of them, just from this last week. And you can scroll down for weeks and weeks and months because they're all over the place. Here's one. I did not post this. I do not agree with this. I find this opinion stupid and disgusting. Here's another one. I did not post these. I do not agree with these. I find these opinions stupid and disgusting. Here's another one. I didn't post this. I find these opinions stupid and disgusting. Here's another one. I didn't repost this. I find these opinions stupid and disgusting. Here's another one. You might say, oh, I saw that one before. That's because he posts it day after day after day after day. I didn't post this. I find this opinion disgusting and stupid. Here's another one. Reposting something from somebody else. Here's another one. Now I could read these. Uh, I, I won't read them all because it would take too long. You can pause and read them yourself. I find these opinions stupid and disgusting. 
He is using my symbol and my name to post something I do not agree with and obviously oppose. Here's another one. I didn't post this. I don't believe this. I find this opinion stupid and disgusting. Here's another one. I didn't post this. This is all just in the last week. I'm not going back months and months. This video would be hours long, literally. I didn't post this. I don't agree with this. I find this opinion stupid and disgusting. Here's another one saying, don't let the Jews take the rest of your freedoms away. I didn't post that. I don't agree with that. I find that opinion stupid and disgusting. Here's another one. Oh, we've seen it before, haven't we? Because he posts it day after day. Days without Jewish tricks, blaming the Jews, the entire category of people. I didn't post that. I don't agree with that. I find it stupid and disgusting. Most of the world finds it stupid and disgusting. And Twitter is allowing this person to post these things over and over and over and over again, making it look like I'm doing it. And a number of people have contacted me and said, whoa, that doesn't seem to match what you say. That's because it's not me. And Twitter knows it's not me. And Twitter knows that it's things I strongly disagree with. And yet they've done nothing about it for years. Here's another one. I didn't post this. I don't agree with this. Here's another one. I didn't post this. I don't agree with this. Here's another one. Do the Jews need to be stopped? I didn't post this. I don't agree with this. I find this belief disgusting and stupid. Now, I could have scrolled down week after week after week because he keeps doing that. So here's the end of Twitter's email. Twitter's policies prohibit accounts that impersonate individuals in order to actively deceive and mislead others. So what the hell is that? Somebody using my name and my website and my other website and my other website and my book and my other book and my symbol to pretend to be me, no indication anywhere that it isn't me and no indication that it's a parody. It has nothing to do with parody. And then posting a bunch of ideas and opinions that I find abhorrent and pack mentality stupidity. Twitter's policies say that's not supposed to be allowed. You've been allowing it for years and you're still allowing it. It's still up even after I reported it over and over and over again. And I know dozens of other people have reported it because I had to tell them, yeah, that guy using my name and my likeness and my symbol and my book and my other book and my website and my other website and my other website, that's not me. That's a fraud and a liar intentionally trying to slander me by posting things under my name and all those other symbols and links pretending to be me, saying things that most people are going to find disgusting, including me. Accounts with similar appearances, such as similar backgrounds, or accounts with similar usernames are not automatically in violation. Are you really going to pretend this guy isn't trying to be me? Oh, he just happens to have my name, except nobody else happens to have my name. And my book cover, and my other book cover, and my symbol, and my website, and my other website, and my other website, and shares a bunch of what I do, and then also shares things I strongly disagree with. Twitter, stop pretending this is your policy if you're not going to enforce it. This person is a liar and a fraud. I've proven it over and over again. You can see who I am. Here's my face. You can go to the YouTube page and see my face all over my videos. That's me. You have my photo ID. You have all sorts of information for me and have for many, many months, years in fact, showing that I am me, that this person is not me, that they are obviously impersonating me and trying to misrepresent who I am and what I believe. Are you going to do anything about it? 